The game has changed. Have you seen the NGAD fighter? We need to rethink the way we fight, and the latest NGAD concept may have just showed us how. Lockheed's famous Skunk Works, the ultimate secret projects team, recently released a silhouette and concept drawing of their next generation air dominance fighter, which we've taken a step further by creating this 3D model. So sit down and grab your popcorn because we're gonna dissect this aircraft and show you some new domains of warfighting that you may not be aware of. Pilotphotog.com Stealth used to be primarily focused on the shape of an airplane to help it deflect radar waves, making them harder to detect or low observable. You can see this in the design of the F-117 Nighthawk Viewed from the nose, its design scatters radar signals, making it harder to detect. The F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning make use of similar design philosophies. For example, by placing the horizontal stabilizers in line with the wings, hiding them from head-on view. But here's the thing, radars that can detect stealth aircraft have gotten so good that we've seen a resurgence in infrared search and track or IRST systems. Aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon feature an IRST pod built into the nose. These systems are passive, meaning that using them does not alert a target aircraft. Think of looking for a fighter using a high-powered telescope. That's sort of what this is. With IRST systems, if you can physically see your target, you can track it. This is what makes the NGAD concept model so interesting. Despite having a cockpit, the airframe is streamlined virtually from all angles. When viewed from the front, the NGAD almost doesn't appear to have a canopy. It almost looks like a flying drone. The intakes are blended into the fuselage and the overall design is highly streamlined. From the side, the entire fuselage looks like a wing or airfoil, which likely allows for a shorter than normal wingspan. The wings appear to have leading edge extensions or LEX, similar to those found on the Super Hornet. This allows for much greater maneuvering at slower speed flight regimes such as landings or high alpha maneuvers that you may encounter in air-to-air -air combat. The remainder of the wing appears to have a modified delta wing structure, which could indicate that the aircraft is designed for very high speeds. This seems likely since the NGAD could be used to launch hypersonic missiles. These extremely fast missiles ideally would be launched at speeds of Mach 2 or greater, allowing their ramjets to power them to hypersonic speeds. Without a doubt, the NGAD fighter will need extensive testing. And as we know, testing a new aircraft design is dangerous and accidents can happen. Speaking of which, if you've been injured in an accident, it might be time to get tactical. You can contact Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with more than 800 lawyers and 4,000 case staff ready to fight for you. They've revolutionized and streamlined the way to handle injury claims. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim in just eight clicks from your phone, which allows you to skip the hassle of visiting law offices or sitting through lengthy consultations. It's like having your own attorney data link at your disposal. And just like building situational awareness, communications is key with Morgan & Morgan. You can text your attorney and legal team anytime 24-7 throughout your case. On top of this, you can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records all from your cell phone. This is an integrated, multi-layered defense that works on your behalf. Here's the best part. It costs you nothing unless they win for you. So take action, protect your rights, and let Morgan & Morgan fight for the compensation you deserve. Remember, if you're ever injured in an accident, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash pilotphotog or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. And now back to the NGAD. The NGAD concept appears to incorporate many design aspects which make it harder to visually detect. 
taking measures to reduce visual detection are part of an increasingly important warfighting domain known as spectral warfare. Visual detection becomes even more important when you also consider improvements in electronic warfare or radar jamming. Modern jamming aircraft or drones can degrade radar signals to the point that they are useless. Having advanced spectral warfare IRST systems is an excellent counter to this. For this reason, offensively, the end guy would make use of its own IRST system, which we've imagined here to be very similar to the F-35's Electro-Optical Targeting System or EOTS. This could help the NGAD fighter target adversaries in highly contested environments while keeping its search radar in a passive mode. Another area of interest is the exhaust port. The silhouette we've seen shows a peak or triangle at the end of the aircraft. This too could be related to spectral warfare. One of the easier ways to detect an aircraft at a distance is from its afterburner plumes. The NGAD's exhaust port appears to be designed to hide or shroud the engine's thrust. This is somewhat similar to what the YF-23 Black Widow did with its exhaust ports, creating channels to cool the exhaust as it left the engines. Along with reducing its heat signature, the NGAD's design could help reduce or even eliminate the afterburner plume from most viewing angles. This likely also indicates that the design will be single engine like the F-35, and could have 2D thrust vectoring like the F-22 Raptor. Like all stealth aircraft, the NGAD will carry its weapons inside of internal bays. This is done, of course, to reduce the aircraft's profile, making it more stealthy, but it does come at a cost. The amount and size of weapons are restricted by the physical size of the weapon's bays. And in our notional concept, the NGAD can carry four medium to long range air to air missiles. These bays could also be used for air to ground munitions, and we have to assume that new weapon systems are being developed that would fit inside the NGAD's internal bays. With a somewhat limited weapons bay size, the question then becomes how much will the NGAD rely on drones? In a previous video, I discussed how collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs, can make the F-35 Lightning a force multiplier. And we have to assume that the NGAD will take things further. Fighter-sized drones like Boeing's MQ-28 Ghostbat are already flying. These drones use AI along with modular mission packages to perform different roles in supporting crewed aircraft. This means that one Ghostbat could be configured as a dedicated jamming aircraft, while another could be configured to carry weapons. In this concept, the NGAD would act as a quarterback, directing the drones to achieve certain objectives while keeping the NGAD in a low power state to help it avoid detection. The Air Force has already stated that they want 1,000 CCAs and about 200 NGAD fighters. So this would mean a 5 to 1 ratio of uncrewed drones to each crewed NGAD fighter. It is important to remember that the NGAD initiative is not just about the fighter, but rather a family of systems, which include the drones. These are all meant to work together as a family of systems to achieve air superiority in the modern battle space. It's almost impossible to overstate how important drones will become in the near future. The AI and machine learning techniques that will be implemented into drones will help automate and even accelerate electronic warfare functions. What this means is that we could see real-time updates or even software patches installed during a mission as a strike group proceeds to or leaves the target. This is another newer type of warfighting known as Cognitive Electronic Warfare. Essentially, onboard AI programs learn what the enemy's electronic defenses are and develop counters for them, applying them to all aircraft in a strike package in real-time. An excellent use of this would be Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses, or SEED, a highly dangerous mission type that basically asks the strike aircraft to have a surface-to-air missile fired at it so that it can target the launching radar. Obviously, it is much better for a drone to do this than a crewed aircraft. And speaking of drones, not all CCA assets will be of the same size and capacity. While the fighter-sized Ghostbat is a great example, 
We can envision other drones of various sizes and capabilities accompanying the NGAD fighter during various parts of a mission. The importance of electronic warfare can be summed up best by Air Force General Mark Kelly, who's the head of Air Combat Command. Quote, if we lose the war on the electromagnetic spectrum, we're going to lose the war and lose it quickly. End quote. Then there is the aircraft's skin. We've already seen the sixth generation B-21 Raider fly with a white or light gray coating. The thinking here is that the lighter coatings could indicate that the Raider is intended to fly day or night ops. The Raider also will make use of next generation radar absorbing materials or RAM coatings. And we can expect the same for the NGAD fighter. The overall design of the NGAD fighter is a very slick and tailless design, which makes use of an elongated fuselage with a blended wing. The lack of vertical tails is a sure indication that priority has been given to low observability, possibly at the expense of maneuvering. Still, the streamlined design will go a long way in extending the NGAD's range, which is a critical requirement for operations in the Pacific Theater, where distances are measured in thousands of miles. Then there is a name for the fighter. The Air Force already has the Viper, Eagle, Lightning, and Raptor. What would be a good name for this fighter and why? Leave your suggestions and reasonings in the comments below. Thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to support this content and this channel, consider becoming a patron or channel member today. As we learn more about the NGAD fighter and B-21 Raider, I'll continue to make updated videos. Thanks for watching, and now you know! PilotPhotog.com